Hi, this is Rachel. And this is Kendra. And you're watching Side Reels Cancellation Buzz. Today, find out which shows have been canceled, which shows are in danger, and on a brighter note, which shows will be sticking around. So first for the bad news, our official cancellations include The Whole Truth, which was the ABC legal drama this season, and it just really it didn't do so hot and it just kind of blended into the rest of the legal dramas, so that one will be cut. Um, it's going to go ahead and uh, play out the rest of the 13 episodes that have already been filmed, so you won't miss out if you're a big fan, but that's all you're going to get, sorry. <laughs> Next up, we have Caprica on Sci-Fi, which surprisingly, you know, as a BSG prequel, did not do so hot, but they did try to carry it on for a little bit, and uh, now we're going to have to say goodbye. So that one is just going to be cut from airing immediately, but they will air the final episodes of that sometime next year. Stay tuned for that news. And uh, finally, in the official cancellations, we have Big Love over on HBO. And this one's more of a concluded show, as we like to call it on Side Reel. So while it has been canceled, it's, given, um, it's really more announced that this is going to be the final upcoming season. So starting in January on HBO, we will have the fifth and final season of Big Love. And so for some unofficial cancellations, so these aren't really, you know, quite announced yet, but it's going to happen incredibly soon that they, these will be officially canceled. So first of all, NBC's School Pride, which is a reality show about kind of renovating really rundown schools that are not doing so well, which is a nice idea, but it costs a couple million per school to do, and they put it in a Friday time slot, so I'm not quite sure what they expected. So that one's not quite official yet, but basically it's going to be dead because it's getting terrible ratings and costs a lot of money. And also we have The City on MTV, so The Hills is now done, and now it's a little spin-off The City is shot. Whitney Port announced this and talked a little bit about it on Ryan Seacrest's radio show and said she's ready to move on to other things. We'll see what that means. I'm guessing it's probably some fashion designing. So those are the shows that are already canceled. Next up, we've got a batch that aren't quite yet canceled, but we've got to tell you it's not looking good for them. So Kendra, what is on the edge of cancellation? First of all, Rubicon, which is on AMC, and this one really, I we're kind of assuming it was going to get canceled right away just from watching the advertisements when it said, oh my goodness, it's on AMC, just like Mad Men and Breaking Bad that you've loved, now Rubicon. So they pretty much were entirely relying on their other programming just for this one to be good, so not so hot. And then the show ended up being rather boring. <laughs> So what else, is, uh, what else is on the edge, Rachel? So the other two are new Fox comedy running wild, which if you watch the latest episode of This Week in TV, I also commented was quite the disappointment. We were hoping it was the next Arrested Development it was, since it was from that creator and had some of the same actors, but just not that funny. And the ratings they are showing the last episode had under 3 million viewers, which is just awful. <laughs> and then finally, Medium over on CBS. CBS recently cut the episode order of that show from a full season of 22 to just 13. So that is never a good sign, and we're thinking that that 13th episode will be the last Last one forever. So luckily we don't come with all bad news today. Those were the shows that were canceled or almost canceled. But I also come with news of shows that we won't be talking about again after today because they have been picked up for full seasons. So first up, CBS renewed all their new fall shows. That includes Hawaii Five O. Shit, my dad says, Mike and Molly, Blue Bloods, and The Defenders. The CW also renewed both of their new fall shows, Hellcats and Nikita. We had already mentioned that Fox was the first network to renew one of their new fall shows, which is Raising Hope. Also over on ABC, No Ordinary Family and Better With You have been picked up for full seasons. And on NBC, new Thursday night comedy Outsource has gotten a full season, as has Chase, also in Law & Order Los Angeles. And returning favorite Chuck had not initially gotten a full season order, but NBC decided to go ahead and give it one. So great news for fans of all those shows. That's it for this episode of Cancellation Buzz. Stay tuned to Side Reels Cancellation Buzz for more news and updates. And of course, always check on Facebook and Twitter for the latest news.